what is going on kingsman welcome back to another ntw3 video today i will be joined by a fellow youtuber pope john paul um he's done a couple of these but if you're new he does a lot of total war has a very large diversity of uh of total war replays that he does and streams but he does ntw3 as well um so I, i'm gonna link his uh, channel in the description i highly recommend going um checking out his videos obviously subscribing and supporting his channel um <clears throat> you never can have enough total war youtubers that is my honest opinion so any total war youtuber i meet i always will recommend subscribing to them all uh getting getting their name out there you know it, it i don't know it's just just something i feel that needs needs more of never can get enough but anyway um this is going to be a 4v4 and uh i hope you guys enjoy Hey Legionnaires, welcome back. We're here with another NTW3 battle for you today, and this one is a special one as I have been joined by Kingston here, a fellow NTW3 YouTuber. This building what is, is up, everybody? Welcome. <laughs> another epic clash 4v4. Yes, this is certainly an interesting one, provided by Kingston himself playing as this Russia center army at the very front of the battle line here. And he told me that it is a very, very good one. We've got some glorious cavalry charges to come and some very good plays. Oh, yes. I'm certainly looking forward to this one. Melee yes. of infantry and cab coordinated assaults and some brutal town fighting for this. I believe this is the Caldero map here, which you can see. This is a uh, six point austria tyrol so they have a lot of guerrilla deployment but they also spawn oh, right. right up front so i can see a bunch of them now yeah getting ready to defend uh, caldera itself yeah um but yeah we do have a russia center we have a um poland like poland army Fuck. well poland Fuck. french uh, we have austria 10 point austria and then we have way off on the uh that's eight points France, Spain, isn't it? Yeah. So, oh, yes. Yeah. So we got a good selection of French armies here today. And are they all Austrians that we're facing here? Um, no, is it two Austrians and two UK or something? Uh, so we have a Spain, I believe, a UK, oh, right. and a uh, Spain's like way far in the left side. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Oh, I, I think... see Poland's already going in with some Cossacks. And actually, it is two UK. You're right. One of them's Espana, UK. One of them's Portugal, UK. Ah, okay. So, yeah, so... yeah Espana. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I'm just watching some Cossacks currently just chop down some yeah. uh, some Austrians as poor guys getting killed off. That's a sad oh, yeah. thing to see. So the plan was in this battle, um, from their side and our side, their, their plan was Austria to hold here. Oh yeah, they're getting the brutal charge of these skirms. Poor guys. But they were going <laughs> to hold the earthworks. There's a bunch of earthworks, some artillery. Mm. Um, and they were just going to get reinforcements. The other Austrian army was going to hold kind of to the left side of Caldero. And uh, they were going to try to use a artillery dominance on the high ground. Okay. And well, our plan I mean... was to push. I was going to push for Caldero. My ally map bomb mm. behind me was going to push to the right side. Of course, you have a far right flank with eight point Espana and a far left flank yeah. with seven point Poland. So yeah, that was the plan. <laughs> yeah, let's see how it works. You know, I'm already seeing a few volleys going off between yes. like, the Austrians and yourself. Uh, Julian for Caldera here. Like, they're ready to the defend it. There's grenadiers, there's grenadiers already like in the building, ready positioned to like go in there. <laughs> oh yeah, so I brought a lot of grenadiers and uh, trilliers as well. But yeah, I brought I actually a say, lot of grens. Yeah, I see your trilliers now. They look glorious, they really do. And then behind them, you have three ranks. You have some uh, the royal guards. Oh yeah, the Italians. All up. Yeah. And then the left side, well. some more grenadiers, like some Polish, I think, grenadiers or Italian grenadiers, I think. Oh yeah, more. Uh, these are Poles, yeah. Poles yeah. and Italians, actually. But yeah, I'm pushing up despite artillery fire from a position behind the Austrians that's peppering me down. I mean, yeah, these are like, yeah, they've got a really good position of the Austrians. They're like on a nice little hill right now. Yeah. And they've, uh, they can really hurt, use some hurt. And I'm pushing up cavalry along with Poland, so we were starting to pressure this left side. They had skirmishers and they had a little bit of cav. But my yeah, plan was, I, I mean, that. you want to like melee. Yeah, I'm gonna take heavy losses trying to attack this high three oh, about. Yeah, I'm watching your islands now, they've been given the, given the order, here they go. So you've also br bringing the poles. Yes. In, uh, yeah, so uh, those are um, like, they're, they're Polish. They've got Russian Dragoons. Fighting. Yeah. Oh, oh so the, the Austrians or the, oh, the no, Polish, no, no, yes. The, um, the poles, yeah. They actually uh, have, Russian infantry as well. If you look in their army, 
There's Russian infantry in the mix with oh, some wow. with some Swedish. I mean, not Swedish. Uh, Denmark troops. It's a weird. It's a weird uh, mixture here. Yeah, it really is. It really is. Oh, yeah, and they got like Westphalians as well. Jeez, yeah, they got everything. Jeez. Yeah. yeah, it really is a, a multicultural army here today. Yeah. So I'm pushing oh. up some Ulanin, Ulani, yep. as well as some Chessers. I'm trying to pressure his side as I'm gonna start going in. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, this is looking already like a big carry fight. I'm seeing a lot of carry as well coming up from Britain in the back lines as well. They're pushing up a lot of looks like Spanish cav. Oh yes. They're, like they're getting ready to help. And here we go, the charge is coming. Yep, I told my ally to go in to tie up these Austrian units, but I'm getting volleyed with my Ulani. Already breaking infantry. Poor guys. Yeah, very nice charge there with the Ulani. Very, very good. Oh here wait, we where go. is this? Yeah, we've got Lots and lots of uh, dragoons and stuff coming in. British now arriving as well to support. Oh yeah, this here's the big cap charge on our side yeah, here. It's turning to a bit of a mess of a cavalry fight. Oh boy. But look at the wavering already from that flanking charge. Look at the mass route that all of a sudden gets triggered on Austria on this hill. I know, that's ridiculous, incredible. Really, really well played. And now the, uh, the Austrian infantry rushing back, quickly trying to reform. And got some uh, some squares forming up too as well to cover against any allied cavalry that has survived. But there wasn't too much to be honest. Bridge got a little bit of cavalry. Looks like a uh, light goon has maybe oh. got out of there. Yeah, there's some UK Portugal coming in behind the uh, Polish cav. It's gonna mass route them. But yeah, we collapsed this entire side, and he's reforming immediately. I'm also pushing in on the town on Caldero. Pushing up some line oh, infantry. Yeah. yeah, I can see. A, I can already see a fight over the buildings starting to happen. Line infantry going in. Oh my goodness. So I form a square because uh, Austria does go in with some Chef Legiers. Um, UK, I was concerned, was going to start flanking us. Poland's still pushing up on the left side to take that hill and support my left flank. Um, also, we have our ally Matt Bob pushing up a ton of skirms. He's trying to basically uh, soak up lines with just skirms and light infantry for behavior. I can see the, the Italian guards have gone in. Oh boy. Those guys don't mess around. Oh yeah, the counter charge from going in the house. It's looking messy already over Caldera, it really is. It is, yeah. It, it, it was I'm a rough for, fight. <laughs> yeah. What I'm looking for, I'm gonna, um, oh, I've lost them. I've actually managed to lose them, is the cuirassiers. Oh, on the right them. side, right side, they're actually they're right pushing side. up here. He's using this road to mobilize, get them up quicker. Um, you can see the Austrians oh, have yeah. a line pushed up. They have some cavalry artillery. Yeah, this is a horde of cuirassiers if I've ever seen one. This is a lot. Yes. And they are like ready to do 200. some work. Yeah, I hope they can get some work done because there's a lot of Austrians here to kill. I don't want to be one of these Austrian cavalrymen, that's for sure. So you see in the town, Caldero, I am actually taking some heavy losses here. I'm trying you to take this yeah, LOC, you, but... You've just taken it. You've just taken it. Uh, I finally put some Carabineers, the Royal Guard Carabineers, into the LOC. I think I... Yeah. Who took... Wait, that's not me taking that. I think it's our right side. I, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, the they uh, started fire from the building, and straight away, Austria just rushed in more. Right, here we go with the crossiers. They're starting to inch really, really close here on this road. He's oh, yeah, I see. super I've got close. Yes, yeah, they're going in. They are in. Jurassic oh, yeah. rushing in now. Here we go. Oh, oh, yes. I love crossier charges. Jurassic is just such an iconic unit. Oh, they're getting hit hard, though. They're oh, yes. Off. They didn't really break anything with that charge there. Oh, a square so, yeah, form. going in now. Oh, they hit that square though. Yeah. Having a rough time, those PRCs. Still one fresh one, but yeah, but the other one got repaired for the first now. But the, uh, the French are doing work with their dragoons. And it's looking really good. Oh, we have some cavalry now engaging the Austrian cab in the back lines, trying to break them, sending in some dragoons. Yeah, 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 they've just broken uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Austrian lines, I think. The Austrian cab. Oh! But some cabs are going to the center of the French line here on this right side. Skirmishers in awesome. danger. It really is. Just look at this. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. Battle. Oh, and two v three. Gotta love it. Gotta right, love the wheat field just makes it. Yeah, it really awesome. Does. Oh, you have just lost the building. Yeah, they counter charge with some grenadiers here. Um, my carabineers take some heavy losses. I should have thrown in some more royal guard. My my elite grens were really getting hit hard. Um. 
He did a good job. He really did. Men are running. Oh, Crossiers are charging in, still in this Austrian line. Even more going in. Austria trying to retreat here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Crossiers are rushing in. They just can't get a break. These poor Austrians are like, just leave us alone. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm running away. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, leave me alone. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, the Kyrassians might as well still carry on because, I mean, once yep. they get exhausted, they are like a truck to move. Well, and at this point, what France is doing is capitalizing on a mass route. Like, the debuff from the units breaking is going to cause oh, more yeah. units to start triggering a route. You can see they are starting to waver and now yeah, the mass, mass route. Guys. It's like three or four, yeah, units breaking. Oh, route. my gosh. They just yeah, mass I mean, routed. Yeah, you should. you should. I mean, once an enemy's down, just keep punching it down. Yep. That's what you got to keep doing. Now, of course, no mercy. they are winded and tired. So, and Spain has some heavies here. Yeah, Spain is starting to bring up some stuff, like, yeah, Spanish. Britain is starting to bring stuff up. But, I mean, we do have, like, the the right flank now starting to swing in. Like, oh, the, yes. Uh, eight points, Spain, starting to flank in. Now, he will be able to help with that pressure. And, yeah, Austria is not looking good on that flank there. Poland still not really do got anything in front of them yet. Britain, for... very, very quiet. Yeah, so they were basically keeping an eye on Portugal, UK. Um, Portugal, UK, yeah. you can see the general. They were on that flank. He had to hold that high ground for me. I'm in the center, but I'm obviously fighting for the town as well. And it's turning very, surprisingly, very bloody for me. Yeah. Um, Espana, UK, is pushing on their our right flank, their left oh, flank. So Britain they now are going in with some cavalry. Oh, what? Going in with some Russian infantry. I've just seen a British cav charge on the Russian infantry on that left flank. Dragoons just kind of went in and just got oh. annihilated. Oh yeah, I realize I'm like, That's pretty nasty. I'm a, ooh yeah. Oh, blue horse. Yeah. And then you got some Dragoons trying to go up, but they are not going to make it in time. Nope. That is unfortunate. Some skirmishers getting some like, fire off. Oh, Kyrassi is going in again. They're going that straight down the center. Oh yeah, it's going down. straight with the infantry. Wow, this is where we start putting pressure. Beautifully done. I mean, it is beautifully done, but no morale will really drop, drop yet. Like, Austria's holding the line. Oh, oh, I speak. Just as I speak, Austria starts to quiver. Yeah. Not breaking yet, though. Um, yeah. I mean, running. that's a bit worrying, though. Look, they've managed to hold up back. This Jurassic line is winning decisively, but... Oh, there we go. One breaks, and that might start a mass route. And uh, also, the UK, UK uh, Spain is pushing up to be a reserve. Yeah, oh yeah, there we go. Three break instantly, just like that. Fourth may go as well. It's with your support, your trilliers. Really helped out in that fire, Phil. Yes. Oh, yes. So the trilliers going in. He's pushing his reserves. He's actually going with a bayonet charge here. Oh my goodness, look at this. Yeah, oh yeah. Trilliers more than going. And also, yeah, Spain I can, is now like very, very close to the flying. Like, I mean. Britain, Spain's in a real risky position because he's like, do I support Austria or do I like go wide and actually counter the Spanish like eight point because he's in a real bad position. Because otherwise, like Spanish eight points is going to flank around and just not face any opposition. Also with Poland on the left flank now, he is engaging the entirety of the UK army. Just watching a Dragoon charge on the Austrian artillery. Oh, brutal. Oh. Yeah, that gun's... Well, actually, I say that gun's going to go. The Dragoon's are... Some pathfinding issues, maybe. Yeah, they were like, you know what? We'll give you, we'll give you the. Uh, <laughs> we'll give you one free kill. <laughs> yeah, we'll get a free kill. Oh yeah, dragoons going in. Those British dragoons have just seen a really nice charge into the uh, Russian dragoons. Oh, Poland, both sides actually broke. So uh, oh, I guess yeah. that's a bit of a win. The problem is yeah. Poland is not going to hold up against this UK line. He has no. some really good units. Um, outnumbers. Look how he's chewing up the seven points here. It's yeah, seven versus oh, this nine. Line inventory is just being chewed up and here we go big charge here from british cav light dragoons going in yeah this was this is where i realized our left flank was going to start caving um because he's yeah. getting crushed unfortunately bayonet charge I mean, on the right if i was in this position i would just hope poem can hold long enough for you just to carry on mopping up the austrians because doing a great job of it at this moment in time i mean the polish dragoons there just helping to route uh, like the light dragoons of Britain and quickly see them off and yeah. save that flank. But yeah, Britain's got too much infantry. They actually have a lot of infantry to just outnumber the Poles. Yep. I um, mean, in nine versus seven. Seven can't bring as much in seven point yeah. here. Rough, rough time. Yeah. Um, so really I basically is. told him, I was like, you need to fall back to me. 
and uh, I'm obviously still in this war of attrition, this line fight with uh, Austria. Center here, we're going for the throat though by Caldera. We are pushing out of the town and going straight for the Austrians, trying to. This is oh, where we yeah. like, where we have to put the gas pedal down and like go Spanish for them. Spanish Cav helping on the left flank. Sorry, Sintra, but yeah, just Spanish Cav big push there. Oh my goodness, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's to be fair, I was just like came back after looking at the Polish flank. To be fair, the coalition forces they still have a lot of infantry, a lot of stuff. Yeah. And like, it is going to be a tough fight, that's for sure. I mean, more charges coming from the Spanish Cav here, just relentless. They're trying to get a bit of a replica. Trying to replicate what the Curassis did, they're actually charging on this little region as well. Jeez, good infantry in it. Yeah. Well, yeah, Espana, or I guess UK Espana, he has quite a bit of good cab. He's pushing up. This is, I believe, Lotus. He was actually really, he's a, one of the devs for NW3 or something like that. He's a really good player. So he's helping stabilize the side, helping even stabilize the center. You can see Bayonet Charge, Austria is just getting routed. Truly Air is going careful. in. He needs to be careful though, because I was watching this skirmish's friendly firing zone infantry. That was not so good. Oof. But uh, yeah, Truly is still going in. Oh God, yeah, these guys are just clearing up. So we're They're just trying to capitalize on it. Yeah, we're trying to capitalize on the mass route. Um, oof. Yeah, that were broken there, but here we go. More cavalry. We got the Dragoons Italian heavies going oh, yeah, in against the Austrians. Go. Yes. And they go. Cut these boys down. And the center yeah, is less stable than it was for the coalition than it was before. Well, it's certainly I think it's gone because those dragoons that they can hold have a direct route to a general. There's an Austrian general very much vulnerable. Yeah. You can take him out. Yeah, so and that would be the not Austrian army goal. Um, seven point Poland managed to pull out half his army, <laughs> so he's gonna fall back to me. I'm having to reform to meet the UK. Yeah. Oh yeah, this UK army is really oh, healthy. Man, there is cap in the back lines going for my skirms. Oh. What's that? And potentially artillery, and a general. I was not oh, yeah, yeah, too yeah, happy yeah. about this. Wow. Very sneaky from Austria. Yeah. Not the greatest. Unfortunately, my artillery does. Just instantly, just disappear. Oh yeah, yeah. When it's like it, like unlimbered, it just just dies instantly. Yeah. yeah. Well, limbered up. Sorry, not unlimbered. Limbered up. It just dies. Yeah. I mean, nearly goes to Jen as well. Mortier is looking rough. Yep. Um. Oh, so dear. they actually, this was a clutch cav charge. It stopped me from being able to push an attack. Um. Yeah. I we had to reconsolidate, reform here. As you can see on the right flanks, Espana is getting just hit really hard by cav, UK cav. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Spanish Cavs being a constant problem here for him. Yeah, so he's, he's falling back. He's not as good. Yeah, oh, yeah. So as as decisive as that initial win was, we have a left flank that caved, and we have yeah. a center that has been still, like, check, I guess, uh, still made it. Yeah. So. But, I mean, to be fair, there's an awful lot of Austrians that have been lost, and whether they'll return is... They unknown. are starting to return, just because we were able to follow it up. A decent amount of them have returned, but they are going to be exhausted, and the morale's going to be shaky. But they yeah. are still there, so it's, you know, There's still a man with a gun in hand. So exactly. Now, I am pushing up here. I am telling... Uh, this, is, this is where we decided to try to make our stand here. Um, UK, Portugal is just hot on the yeah. heels of... Poland. I see your uh, guard artillery just preparing. Yep. Oh, yeah. The Italian guards are like, yes, we will pound the British today. But in more Italian accent, which I won't do. <laughs> <It'll> be insulting. <laughs> yeah, there's someone. There's accents I don't do. British accents. There's... Actually, any accent, actually, unless it's American. I was going to say, most accents I'll probably stay away from. I'll just do a posh British accent. Oh, oh nice. Square. Nice square yeah. on the right flank of Espana. Yeah, I just saw that was just at the right time. This Legion getting a very nice square off. But I mean, yeah, that artillery though, the French artillery is very close. Oh, is he going to get canister? He's going to get canister off. He is. He's going to get canister. Wow. Oh. Actually, I don't know if that was canister. No, that's his ram, ram shot. Ram yeah. yeah it's it's got oh, well. one. Somehow the second one missed. Oh, uh, well. It was a brave he effort. point blank range. The man must be drunk. Yeah, right. <laughs> He, yeah, he sabotaged. Left, <laughs> he must have. He must be pro pro British. Um, but yeah, that that uh, that right for the French looking rough. There's no cavalry out there to support now, and 
just getting freely charged by Spanish Cav. Yeah, we don't have a lot of Cav left actually, and our left flank is engaged as well. And Austria is pushing up to hit our le our angle. I think by the looks of it, all the cavalry is mainly just the cuirassiers, and they're getting shifted along with maybe some dragoons. But yeah, the cuirassiers are all in the center. It looks like they're getting shifted towards maybe uh, Britain and Portugal. We have killed their general, oh. sir. Now they oh, general has been killed, though. Oh, a squid. Oh, wow, yeah, wow. Polish cav sniping in there. Getting nice. I forgot about Very that. Very impressive. Wow. That's going to change this battle like massively because this British army had uh, like a really good army left, a really healthy army, and now has a general to do mass from the wow. Yeah. So the reason we shifted our crosshairs in the center is obviously UK on both sides is going to have squares, which is going to make it obsolete almost. The Austria mm. in the center has barely any squares. They are the target. Now, I am shifting over my Dragoons to the UK side. You can see somehow we're starting to, like, tear down the UK Portugal. Um, yeah, yeah. I think that's mainly because of that general being killed. That's done a lot of problems. Yep. So we're, we're definitely going to start forming up. I have artillery. You can see the Italian artillery setting up in the center. This is where Austria is pushing up. We want to, like, put some firepower mm. to drive them back. Yeah. Oh, I know these Italian guardsmen are going to do well. But Espana is getting just... Utterly destroyed here on this right yeah, leg. They, they are having a rough time. I mean, Britain is supposed to be like OP at the moment in NTW3 from what I've heard. They so. just have really good shooting stats, yeah. I mean, yeah. But this is a lot of Portuguese, honestly. This isn't even like. Well, trade by the British. They were trade oh, by the canister British. from this. Yeah, that was really, I just saw that. There. I had to that poor Portuguese unit. Oh. Well, they may be trained by the British, but they still hate British. They'll be great. <laughs> Jeez. Uh. But here we go, cross here, when, shifting in the center. Yeah, I love just looking at him um, like, I'm just looking at like some Portuguese troops right now, and they just got like a, an abandoned artillery by them. Like shots with like abandoned artillery, and, like dead infantry, was like infantry yes. fighting around it, look amazing. I agree. Yeah, the, yeah but the cuirassiers, yeah, he just got scared off a little bit there by a few British volleys. Yeah, so he's pushing infantry. Hopefully, he can engage them, force them into square with the heavies, and go in. Hmm. Um, this left side's kind of stabilized. He's Poland's pushing up his reserves on the left, trying to outflank the UK as they have a really strong line here, contingent of like four yeah. regiments. Honestly, if I was Poland, I would not outflank because I think man for man, the British are gonna like overwhelm you. He might, he might need those reserves. Oh, agreed. I mean, I'm falling back even more. Yeah. I, oh yeah. I see this. Yeah. Um, that's also because Austria is trying to maybe pressure our center here. Hmm. But yeah, it looks like both sides yeah. kind of like uh, pulled back, maybe taking a breather, trying to refigure out how I, to... <laughs> yeah, really assessing the situation. I honestly, if I was the coalition right now, I would probably be thinking about making a push straight down the, straight down the road. Yeah. The uh, fans uh, having really just some skirmishes and some artillery to cover. Yes, if the curiosities are near at hand, yep. but if you could uh, like form square or just, or just, I don't know, even like get a few volleys off on them, definitely break through that'd be where i try and smash straight down the middle yeah definitely flash all right so um yeah. no without making spoilers here let's see i'm so, uh, uk's getting very very this close to, the enemy. to my line here so i can i'm starting to push out with these truly airs i have my cab hovering behind oh i see yeah uh, yeah the truly is getting ready it's amazing these guys can't form square because the guards I'm kind of glad that they didn't make all the guardsmen able to form square now, but it's just kind of also at the same time, they are like the cream of the crop. Yeah. <laughs> they can't form square. Right. <laughs> it's a bit bizarre. All right, let's go. We're okay. carry on. Crashes are inevitable. It Crashes happens. are inevitable, but here we are. We are back. <laughs> and as you can see, your line is now fully engaged with the, uh, with the British line, along with the Poles. Yes. I mean, doesn't seem like the Poles have managed to even outflank the Brits as well. They seem to have endless reserves. They can just keep putting them wide. Yeah. Uh, both getting across the river. Mm. Owen's general standing there. He wants redemption from that crushing defeat. Yeah, Poniatowski there. He's like, yeah, we need to go. We need to get a, a bit of revenge here. He's got yeah. no cavalry though to do it, which is probably his strongest weapon he has. That's true. Now, I am starting oh, yeah. to pull in my right flank here just because Austria is advancing in force. Yeah, I was going to say, Austria has got lots of troops here pushing up. And all there is really now to stop is you're feeding some skirm. They're just there, some 
Strelke that have been left to uh, to defend. So much responsibility <laughs> for so few troops. <laughs> There's like 40 guys. It's like, right, we've got to hold back like 400 here. Just imagine being the courier right in the back. You were told to hold back that army. And you're like, There's 20 of us. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, What? Sir? He must be mad. Uh. Are you saying that, um, you're saying that Skirms now are really effective? Um, or a lot more effective, you're saying? Um, well, it, it's and just, it's... if you put them in light infantry behavior, they can stand mm. in front of a line, and if the enemy gets close, you start getting more and more hits, but also, mm. it's harder to hit them. They're in a light infantry behavior, you know, they're... Yeah. Oh, we oh, have a, a center, yeah. It is. Yeah, Grenade is really, that's a really early charge they put in there, but I guess they want to close that distance, get to your guns, will the Kirasis realize in time, and come and save your guns, it doesn't look like it. Uh-oh, I'm running away. Uh, Run! Run! Run for your Look life! That. Look how quickly those uh, hearts are even running out there, like... So here oh, come the Kirasius! Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And there we go, the Kirasius finally descend. They pushed a gun. The Kirasius actually pushed one of the artillery pieces. I... That was, yeah. I feel like the cavalry, like the horse would actually just like, hit the gun and just go... Legitimately, I just saw an artillery piece slide across the road. <laughs> <laughs> So this, uh, they just got like, I don't know, skis on them or something of the artillery. But yeah, the cavalry, the Kyrash is carrying on. They're gonna oh, go yeah. to the That's beautiful charge. Here they go. Slashing and crushing. Wow, that was a beautiful charge. And now the infantry are yeah. gonna push up and capitalize on this. Yeah, they need to because that Kyrash nearly broke there. His morale was like really low for a moment and then just shot straight back up, luckily. That's a Jen Inspire for sure. Yeah. Um, also, for me, I'm starting to uh, uh, prep maybe for a push here. I'm getting my reserve grenadiers up. Um, there's a road. Some... Ooh. Crossiers oh, yeah. yeah, getting Austrian shot. Up. Austrian infantry breaking in that center. Where I said they really should push down the center. They started to. Austria listened to me, but it did not work. Austria, unfortunately, getting a little pimmin in on this crossier unit. Yeah. It happens sometimes. It do happen. But yeah, I mean, it looks like the British so wide on the left flank now. Look, Holy they're actually moly. flanking 8-point Espana, like Espana. They're doing really well. Oh, here we go. I'm going in on UK, oh, Portugal. So I'm charging oh. in with the 84th. Sending my Grenadiers oh, yeah, behind. Going in. Using this road to go as fast as possible. Cavalry going in as well. Oh, yeah. The goons, the Italian goons being mobilized. Yeah, this is problematic for the British. You can just smash straight down their center. Oof. At the same time, Poland is breaking on my left flank, but it doesn't even matter. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter at all. Britain needs to start shifting back because the center is gone. There it goes. Oh yes, the Italian coordinated. An Italian cavalry leading the way. Those Italians, man. They are good. The Italians, like, I see, seem to see them, like, so often now, just, like, clutch games. Like, especially, like, um, play, people playing, like, oh, the core. Cool. Yeah. And they, like, play cores. They do incredibly well. And now even, yeah. even, uh, Port Poland is even going in here as UK oh, yeah. is trying to pull back towards the river. Um, oh, yeah, in the yeah, center, yeah. España getting just still flanked. <laughs> I'm watching the Danish and the uh, British fight each other. I know, it's kind of like, an odd sight. Yeah, they're both in red coats. They're probably both like, who the hell is who? <laughs> <laughs> Your ass is all they were going to go forward for another charge there on that uh, on, Brit on the British lines, but change their minds. Yeah, so our real concern is that Espana breaks, and then you can see how weak we are on this side against the UK Portugal. Mm. I mean, we have nothing left. Yeah, but yeah, there is really not much left. I mean, luckily, UK Portugal is basically gone. Austria's got elements over there, but not much. Yes, and I still have my guns, which, you know, can start firing on that, driving them back. Mm, definitely need to do that. This Espana UK is actually very strong looking still. Man. Oh, the action on the right side of this uh, Espana. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cavalry still harassing. Grenadiers. In there as well. Grenadiers, yeah. It's funny, I just realized. Espana, France, Espana is fighting Spain. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. 
I had realized, but it just, yeah, I guess it hadn't clicked. <laughs> it didn't, yeah, didn't click till just now. <laughs> the carry going into the back, recharging that, uh, this little legion, they're gonna break them, probably. Oh no, France, they're running for the town now. Oh, actually, I don't know, Grant needs to break there for, for Britain. There might be hope. Oh no, there wasn't. No, nope. They broke. <laughs> <laughs> just like that, they broke. <laughs> oh, there's no hope. There is no hope. So you can tell, there's obviously, no yeah, there is, uh, France is dying very rapidly. They need reinforcements. They need help. They need to, yeah, just get back in that building. That is what they need to do. Get back in the building in um, Caldero and then just try and like entrench themselves around the building and just, I don't know. Yeah, with squares and with lines. That's what they're doing right now. So big picture, I mean, you have UK, Portugal one side, it, Austria on another side, and then UK, Spain on another side. Just mm. three different battles now isolated. Yeah, it really is, and I, to be honest, on something on the, uh, like, you could almost call it the northern front now, where, like, uh, you, you are facing up against Austria and Britain and uh, Portugal, like, you seem really, like, stretched to the breaking point, like, there's not much. Yep. There, I mean, there's, like, one little Dragoon unit as well that's trying to support both armies. Yeah, well, not only that, but, I mean, my units are falling back because Austria just has, my units are probably tired from the melee. Ah, yeah, they're fresh, mm. actually. But this yeah, is just I mean, some chunky high ground. Austrian units. Yeah. Austria has the high ground, which, like, if you've watched Star Wars, you know, that's just unbeatable. Yeah, oh yeah, no, Anakin, yeah, every time. Yeah, every time Anakin loses his limbs. But I my artillery, him, watch... though. <laughs> yeah, your artillery, though, is chewing them up. Probably that's why they're falling back. Yeah, I would. I mean, this artillery, it's guard artillery, I'm sure it never misses. That's true. Unlike stormtroopers. <laughs> yeah, unlike stormtroopers, they hit. <laughs> miss every time. Uh, I mean, you've still got like over 100 curiosity, or just under actually, just under 100 uh, curiosity is still. That's a dangerous force there. That's true. With how much damage they've done, how many chevrons they probably have. Yeah. Which oh, just definitely... goes to show, you know, um, I think as you get more experience during the battle, your unit stats come up. So farming is actually a viable strategy. Yeah, Farm the kills, 100%. get the stats up so they can fight better. 100%. Yeah, Austria, Austrians, or oh, the Austrian army now, like... Is this a Austria general on the road, or is this an artillery crew on the road that's fighting a skirm unit? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm presuming that's an artillery unit. Yeah, definitely Let's... artillery. <laughs> the poor Spanish that's artillery. Very... And it, oh, and it what? worked. What? It worked? It How did, did that work? <laughs> These guys are cutting down... Skirmishes now with their swords, hilarious. And they're gonna go on probably and then assassinate your uh, artillery. Or not assassinate, but like. Masena's gonna go and defend the guns. Oh, yes, as he should. Again, your artillery crew runs from a, a smaller artillery crew, I'll just like to add. Like, there was like 10 guys <laughs> against your 21. Oh, the Dragoons are gonna go wrong. Dragoons now as well. Oh my god. Oh, Crosshair's like, going artillery. in on Espana. Okay. Oh, is he? I've distracted. Oh. <laughs> like a little artillery problem. Oh my gosh, yes. What a charge. What a charge. That's a smash through those lines. The crosshair yeah, that, MVP that in this is, battle. That is really stalled the British. That is, actually might be, I don't know. I don't want to say it's the end for like British, but like it's certainly going to push them back again. That's sure. the thing. Yeah. They're forming square and it looks like Jurassic is gonna run for their lives. Yeah, he's gonna pull back, probably, uh, you know, wait. Freshen them up again. Oh no, well, one carries on, one's still breaking Portuguese. Ooh. Probably make sure. Well. Yeah, probably make sure these guys don't come back, slice down enough of them to where yeah. they, uh, break forever. Infantry pushing forward as well. Yeah, but he is making sure that these guys have gone fully. I mean, also, if you can just tell, like, force them not to form a square, that also helps the Jurassic. That's true. Yeah, that like British center's now just gone. Oh yeah. They're gonna have to try and reform up, but that's uh that's a big win for France there. And that's also relief Caldero. Ooh, nice charge by this Portuguese stubbornly holding on when all their allies break. They just refuse to break. They do. This Portuguese are a brave bunch. Yeah, no kidding. Brave but oh my gosh. And now UK is actually go going for a flank boys. here. The UK are yeah. going in, trying to collapse in on them as they're fighting this Portuguese line. Yeah, yeah. 
France actually needs to be careful because yeah, they are going to get attacked from the flanking moment by the British. They need to be really careful. But I mean, they, at the same time, they also want to carry on like because they haven't really broken all these infantry units out here. They've really got them all. This Portugal UK is also breaking more of the uh, Polish. Of but course it is. Poland's just had a rough day all day. Yes, I'm going in on melee trying to see if I can't break them now going across the river, but yeah. Yeah, poor, I see that. Poor Portugal. Oh. Poor Poland. Poor Poland. Underdog. <laughs> underdog. I've been an underdog all game. It really has been. They like, did hold so my flank, but yeah, they died doing so. Got some Mecklenburg infantry here fighting all, like against British. They just got no chance. No, no. chance. At all. Oh, these guys dropping so fast. Oh, the Fias is going back in again, oh. riding more stuff. Looks like they broke some cavalry. cavalry. Oh, yeah. in. That's good. By this point, it's very obvious who's gonna win. Um, yeah. We it have the like LOC. Yeah, you have the LSC, plus you just smash through the British there. I mean, the Austrians haven't recovered really since they lost the Caldera. I mean, they've got some troops left, but just about, we, we can see their full might, I think, really. It's about five or six units, and that's about it. Yeah. They've, they've really not got that much left. It's enough to cause a small, like, issue, but it's not going to change the battlefield, I don't think. The, the stubbornness of this UK Spain, though. Yeah, I mean, it's UK Spain, credit to it, is like fighting on and on. <laughs> he won't give up, man. Look at this, he's fighting his flank. He's pivoting slowly but surely. It just... Mm. He's, doing, he's doing a really good job. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's no chance he's going to lose it. I don't know. I don't think he'll lose the LOC, but it's like he keeps pushing on it. And like, France keeps giving him more ground. Yeah. I'm just I'm... waiting for another Curacia charge. One more Curacia charge just to end them. Once more into the breach. Now now, that, now that UK is Portugal's dead, we can reinforce this yeah. other oh, side. Oh, here it comes. Curacia's coming in again. Going in oh, Portuguese. square. Yeah. It might not matter. Oh, it might not matter. The morale is pretty bad. Well, even with a square, heavy cap still makes such a huge impact in the line. They can still puncture through squares sometimes. As it should. It's like, it's yeah. like you said, it's heavy cav. Oh, yeah. Oh, now it's getting bogged down, though. Now it's getting bogged down in the charge. It's meaningless. So you get out of that. Oof. Some okay. guys that get shot, shot off the horses. My favorite animation is, uh, like, the horse dragging a guy behind him. You oh, see yeah. a horse just <laughs> running with a guy just getting dragged by the stirrup. That probably happened a lot during the uh, Imperial Wars. I mean, definitely. That's for sure, but yeah, that is a yeah. good one. I do like that one. Yep, yeah, it does appear though that uh, this is it. Austria this looks like pushing. Oh, again, Kiras is going in. Oh. The British is not going to fall the square. Oh, they did. Oh, actually, they did. They did, but it's like as the Kiras were like on the square, on the line, like fall the square. It's I, I'm a bit I don't really like that way to do it, but it's like almost form square as the cavalry's on you. Like right. It, it's like a very complicated thing to form, and like they do it as the cavalry units like basically engage with them. Yeah, that's true. But, well, I think actually you get more uh, impact if you can hit them when they're forming square still. Oh, maybe, maybe. Um, versus didn't, if they're already help formed. Didn't the unit at all by this time because it did route. No, this UK unit to the right side just volleyed them to pieces. That is a risk, I mean, it's it's a bit of a risk, uh, still I feel like it's a curiosity. Oh, um, oh here we go, yeah. The poor Portuguese doing a frontal assault on the Polish Jeez. line. Jeez. Vaporized. Poor guys. The Portuguese definitely uh, were not cowards this battle. We can no, say I that. No, I mean, the Portuguese solid, solid units. They have some really good units. I mean, they have like really good, like, similar, like, British capabilities and like accuracy and reloading and like really good but just their morale and lack of form squares sometimes lets them down I feel. That's true. That's very true. I mean yeah put the Portuguese in a solid position there's just as much of a problem as actual British infantry. Yeah so Austria's doing one last hurrah I think they're just going in for a glorious charge here. My artillery yeah. plastering oh them. Oh my gosh yeah it's just pulling putting holes in them. Yeah, it looks like we're going to see the Kiraces come across and finish them off. 
These curiosities must have like three, four hundred kills. Could you imagine how exhausted they probably are? How many, how many fights they've been in? And the yeah, the, this cavalry, this, the horses probably covered like tens of miles, They're just going backwards and forwards across the battlefield. <laughs> the officer's like, one more time, man, just once more. Once more into the bridge, <laughs> and then you may break. You may drink as much wine as you like. Here they go. Uh, wind is not too bad. Uh oh, yeah, this. The morale's already starting to cave. <laughs> And they broke oh. before they even hit him. Yeah, I know. They were like, you know what? That's, that's, why would you break before you got attacked? Like, you might as well, like, try and stand and put up a fight first. Like, right. Run, running away be first, uh, you know. Now that's just, got that's no just rough. Then. Yeah, that is brutal. There you go. Wow. Mass Everything's round. gone. Everything's yeah. gone. And we are going to see uh, Ponyatowski go in, though, against the uh, Austrian general. That's hilarious. He wants to 1v1 him. Oh, yes. Six against like 12. Oh, I think Pony Tess has lost that one. Oh, my goodness. Maybe not. I don't, oh, maybe not. Oh. oh. He has four left. Oh, Dragoon. Oh, Crossiers. <laughs> Same. Oh, General, his general died. Poniatowski did die, and I mean, the uh, Austrian one might follow pretty soon. Yeah. There I must say, go. this that map is, is an amazingly gorgeous map. I do like this map, yeah, Caldera, I mean, it gives you a little bit of everything. You've got, like, the high ground, you've got the hills, you've wheat got, fields. like, village to fight over, wheat fields, yeah, everything. This like, marsh can be fun to fight around if, like, you mm. take this LOC. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. This marsh is, makes it really, like, really difficult, like, across, <laughs> like, uh, fighting across the rivers, yeah. And that Every LOC time is, like, I record a replay, I always want to go play after I'm done. I'm like, okay, I want to go play this game now. Yeah. <laughs> I'd agree. I think I have done a battle of Caldero, and yeah, it was a close one, or a relatively close one, but it, it's, uh, I think in the end, the, yeah, the French did come out on top because yeah. it's like, the, the, um, the Austrians just like, they, they kind of suck. Yeah. <laughs> just, a just a little bit. Just a little bit. I mean, they can do well, but I feel like they, they just, I think at the time of the patch, they were just kind of suck. I think they're a bit better now than they used to be, but um, or in recent in recent patches, they've been better. Like we were saying, like, um, large infantry. Formations just use the cloak, which is really good at one point. Yeah. And the Austrians can, like, just, well, can bring a lot of large infantry formations. Speaking of uh, the artillery, like, empty artillery with masses of dead around them, mm. look at this artillery in the wheat field. It's like death and destruction oh, yeah. all around them. Yeah, I'm just looking at that now. That looks, Some skirmishers that looks so pushing past them. Yeah, that looks. Oh. The guns that will fire no more. Oh, there's some Austrian artillery yeah, crew. Yeah, artillery going, crew. What? We're gonna get back on them. The cheeky, cheeky artillery crew. Where did that come from? These guys are like, ah, oh, yeah, they're just gonna man this artillery. It might be theirs, it might not have been theirs. Who knows? <laughs> Actually, we did an experiment one time on a test map. Oh, UK's going in, in Caldero. But we did a test where um, you can actually, if the enemy has six pounders, you can actually get on them. If you have a oh, six pounder so yeah, crew as well. Oh wow! Yeah, that's so. That is quite dumb though. That like, so, like artillery crew can only get on the same caliber of gun. Like, right. Like a twelve pounder. Oh, I've never operated a large gun before. Or like, all it is is different is the round. It's not that's true. Gun itself. But it's still cool like, that you can go and take enemy guns. Oh yeah, and, and you hop would. on in them. History, they would. Like, in right. History, they did turn enemy guns on, like, on the enemy itself. They took the ground. Yeah. Because. Well, it's just that like, you got another artillery thing. Why not? Why not? Man, the um, amount of death in this town since the beginning. Oh, I know. It's been brutal. And they're fine. Like, Britain's finally starting to cave down. But even still, like, morale's starting to dwindle a little bit. But, the, yeah, the Portuguese, they don't know when to quit. No. No, they really don't. It's like, uh... It's like, there's more Portuguese now than there is British infantry. It's true. And it's a bloody like, I... field. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Like, I'm just zooming I mean, I'm, through. I'm just like, I'm zoomed out, like, just watching, like, the, as the French push forward. But you, like, from, like, literally the foreground all the way into the background, you can just see bodies scattered everywhere. Yeah. I mean, a lot Testament of them just, like, to the yeah, bravery white... on both sides, I guess. Yeah. A lot of white uniforms, though. A lot of dead Austrians. There are also plenty of, uh, I mean, the French also wear white in some cases. So, uh, probably quite a few of them are dead Frenchmen, but. Yeah, a lot of dead Austrians around, certainly around Caldero. No more cavalry charging. The last oh, final. Going in. Yeah, your dragoons oh, went in, but broken on square. 
probably should have timed that better so that infantry was closer, but you know. At this point, you know, yeah, you can be uh, a little bit sloppy because the uh, the battle's won. Yep. You throw assets away. <laughs> the the French units pouring out of cow there. Imagine being these Portuguese, and if you didn't know what happened on the other side of the fight, and all of a sudden you just see French columns, and you're like, where did they come say, from? <laughs> yeah, as like a Spaniard or like a Portuguese one here, you'd be like, we've done really well all game, and then like you just like see like there's like there's more French. We've like killed thousands already today, and there's still more. Yeah. Like, you know, like, yeah, no clue what's happening on the other side. Yeah. To be fair, if I was Brit, I would be sick seeing these cuirassiers lingering around, like, the, your back lines. Just right. Playing, like, like, these damn cuirassiers, they've been there all day causing problems. All right, now it's a turkey shoot. We're just, we're yeah. surrounding and shooting them to pieces. Oh, yeah, and the cavalry charge forward one last time. Well, Britain form square? Doesn't look like he will. Oh, my gosh. Jurassic like a gun down as they charge Oof. through the line. Yeah, they're breaking. Oh, they actually stabbed a couple of the cross the air. Dang. Yeah. There's a Austrian general that's charging in against um, French line infantry. It's hilarious. <laughs> but, yeah, it's what they go on. And like, on this mount as well. Like, hilarious. We there you go. I think that's the battle now. I think there's break. nothing else left. Enemy yeah. general gone. Yeah. I think that's it. And there yep. you go. Yeah, I have the end result. Oof. So yes, there we go. Yeah. I mean, you and Matt Bob getting over 1,500 kills. That's very impressive. Wow. Very, very impressive. I'll put up the, for those of you who are watching my video, I'll put them up here because it's empty, but we'll let, you can read off the kills and I'll just put them up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, actually, to be fair, like Poland um, got more kills than um, like French Spain. Like really? Eight, eight points. Yeah, yeah. They got 810 to 650. They did really well. Wow. I mean, and then, I mean, Lotus and, um, is it Blackow? Both did like really well getting yes. like, with like with their UK kills, like both getting the like fourteen hundred or around that mark, mm -hmm. did really well. The uh, the Austrians, uh, yeah, not as good. <laughs> kills, six hundred kills, yeah, and like had rough games, but yeah, they did their best. I mean, um, this, yeah, you're like dragoons getting two hundred fourteen kills. Oh yes, the really years, yeah. Yes. Oh, some incredible kills, yeah. Some really good kills there. I'm curious how yeah. many kills Matt Bob got with his crosshair. Oh yeah, I wish I could see Matt Bob's like curiosity kills. That would be incredible. Oh, I, but, I, yeah, that was that was that was amazing. Yeah, I that really was enjoyed a, that one. Yeah, that was a. But, but yes, if you did, if you guys did enjoy, do remember to leave a like, subscribe from around here. Definitely go and check out Kingston's channel as well. There's loads of NTW3, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Yeah, and thank you guys for watching. Um. Like we were talking about, I can't remember if I'm recording it. Um, uh, <laughs> Pope John Paul does a lot of other Total War mods for like 12, 12 AD and all that. So um, definitely go and check out if you, it's a good way to like find new mods. Like I said, he does a lot mm. of them. So um, does a lot of review and a lot of multiplayer with them. So he has a Discord. They do a lot of streams where they do a lot of uh, other games, other Total War games. So dabble your finger in the other Total Wars. They're all good. But, all they, all they, all oh, yes. excellent. But uh, thank you guys so much for joining, and uh, catch you guys in another video.